Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this train station where the AI train is automatically stopping and this track here where the train is driving automatically in a loop every round. So let's go. So the first thing I want to create is this train station here so it's pretty easy it's just an blueprint actor and I just put yeah a cube this one here that I see where the box is a box collision and this cube again so pretty simple these are on the tracks the train hit the collision box I would just make this marker here so that I know and yeah it slowly hold on here so let's fill up this with some functionality. So we go to the details and go to begin overlap as always. And then we just go to other actor calls to AI train or in this case train blueprint. Okay, and let's go to the train itself because we need a new function here. And we say add custom event, let's call this stop. From the stop, we say add timeline. Let's call this stop curve and we play it from start like this. So let's open this up, make a new flow track. The first point will be zero, zero, or in this case, sorry, time zero, value 10. In my case, this is the speed that the train has. So let's five zero and now we can see we have a track that goes from 10 to zero in five seconds so we just have a new track we can if you want rename this to yeah stop curve so it's more clearly this one here so, and then we just set the speed and we want to update it. So, and to make this more realistic, we all will, so will on the finished, set the audio to zero. Then let's say we have a little delay of five seconds. And so the train will hold at the train station and after five seconds, you will continue driving. So for this, let's remove this on begin com on begin overlap event from the train itself. So where the character is triggered. So to make this more realistic, let's say begin play. So that the train is driving anyway. Let's put a delay right here so that the train is hold at a train station as it already does here for five seconds on complete. It goes to the function from the last tutorial. So this one here. And so what we need now is on another custom event that just called drive, whatever you want. Get all these part here. So this one here, remove this and move it just down here. So this will be the whole drive function. Yes. So we have the event begin play, then a delay of five seconds, and then we just call the drive function. And on the stop event, we have this curve that we reduce the speed. And after five seconds, it holds on the train station. Again, we call the drive function. So and the last thing is we take our travel boolean here, want to set it. Of course, when it stops it don't travel so let's set it to false of course and then compile and save this let's see if it works so we hit play go inside the train after five seconds the train will start automatically as you can see it works and you can see there comes the next train station on the red sign we will trigger the stop function so right now 
So the train will slow down and will hold on the train station. So sound stopping as well and after 5 seconds it will continue driving. Great. So now is the last part. I want that the train drives all this path here and after it goes to the finished, that's already here, it will continue driving. So that's pretty easy. We go to the train itself again, go to our drive part here where we have this loop from the last tutorial and we have this branch here. So it checks is the distance below the spline length. So is it at the, at the target? So if it's not so it is at the target, so that means false. We take our distance and we want to set it. And this is the false condition. Let's leave it to zero. And this one goes inside the retriggable delay. So let's see if this works as well. So again, go inside the train. After five seconds, it starts. So now is it is looping. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.